Parramatta Bishop Vincent Long says he emphatically rejects the notion of gender ideology. But, and it's a big but, he says some children rely on teachers to help them with gender diversity issues. For some much needed common sense on this, I'm joined from Newcastle by the man himself, the leader of One Nation in New South Wales, Mark Latham. Mark, why is Bishop of the, well, he's the Bishop of the fifth largest diocese in the country, why is he standing in the way of parental rights in this area? Well, Rita, uh, I don't think the Bishop uh, understands the bill properly. He's saying the bill would deny the existence of transgender people in schools. It does no such thing. The bill tries to stop the teaching of gender as a social construct. It tries to stop one of the practices, sadly, we've got in New South Wales schools at the moment, whereby a, a counsellor would say to a, a student saying they're a bit worried and anxious about life, have you thought that you were born in the wrong body? Or, and it also <laughs> stops a, a, teacher, a teacher saying... Um, the gender is socially constructed, the, the, the wacko theory that a six-year-old girl's only feeling female because she was dressed in pink by her parents and given a Barbie doll to play with. That's what the bill tries to do. But I, I think Bishop Long's uh, comments are worrying at another level because they're part of the anti-parent push that we've got uh, in many parts of society. He says that at times the teachers are the only people these children might trust in helping them. Well, what about the parents? I mean, if, if you're a parent paying your fees to go to a Catholic school, you are almost by definition a loving, caring person devoted full time to the best welfare of your child. And I'm sure the great majority of those Catholic families have got uh, trusting parent-child relationships. So um, if you push these parents away, say the teachers are more important, it's no surprise at all that as a share of the uh, Catholic school enrolments in New South Wales, the Parramatta Diocese numbers are collapsing, along with their academic results, because they've gone down new age teaching methods that plainly aren't working. Well, are you going to reach out to this uh, bishop and set him straight, actually tell him what's in your bill and, and put his mind at ease? Or do you feel like that's not your job to, to educate him, especially if he's going to come out and take a stand on this? Well, I've consulted with the Catholic Church uh, on the bill. Uh, the bishop didn't uh, contact me to raise any problems or doubts about the bill. The bill speaks for itself. You've only got to read it to know what's in it. And I have written a, a piece today. I will send it to Bishop Long and, and try to establish a dialogue with him. But, geez, um, uh, if you start saying to parents in the Catholic system, the teachers are trusted more by the children on these sorts of issues. And let's also remember the Parramatta School submission to the parliamentary hearing was in favour of the teaching of gender fluidity. If you're doing that in Catholic school, mm. why would anyone send their children paying money to these schools? I mean, there's plenty of government schools, shamefully, will do gender fluidity for free. Well, I think Bishop Long is about to be inundated with angry letters and emails from concerned parents because it is a fairly bizarre position to take against his own church.